Man, this pisses me off so much. Did you know the only reason women are actually getting married is to take your money? When you're not relying on someone for money, you can be a bit more picky with the way that they treat you and the, you know, your happiness level. Being a good man is not enough anymore as it used to be. I did all the right things and this woman still left. She still cheated on me. After 20 years of marriage, she said, I want a divorce. They are just gonna use you until they no longer want you and then they'll move on. If I get married and decide, you know what, I'm not feeling it, I'm gonna leave my husband. I can take half and the kids and put you on child support. Why are women divorcing men at such a high level? You see, the truth is that all those people you just saw are heavily misinformed. Not only that, but they are creating a story behind these statistics that only serves their own personal narrative that's gonna lead you to end up being alone and miserable long term. You see, here's the truth, my man. Women do not divorce men that make them happy. Well, Josh, trust me, my wife is never happy. That's a fair point. But women do not leave high value men, a man that meets all their needs. That's why in this video, I'm gonna break down the real reasons why women are divorcing men at such a high level and what you can do to counter those reasons to be the top 30% that are happy in a long-term marriage where the woman will not even consider leaving you because of how much you make her happy. Let's get it. First, we need to bust the myth that women are leaving men for their money. People often cite this statistic right here that women are initiating divorce 70% of the time and it's further backed by the statistic that women are leaving men at a 90% divorce rate of initiation if they have a college degree or higher. And when most people hear that, they're like, yep, that proves it, Josh. See, women are leaving men for their money. That's it. That's somehow 100 years ago, families were perfect and women were so happy to be in the marriage and nothing was going wrong. Here are some sobering statistics for you. In 1824, Mississippi Supreme Court allows husbands to administer moderate chastisement in case of emergencies. In the early 1500s, old English common law explicitly permits wife beating for correctional purposes. It wasn't until 1870 that Alabama was the first state to rescind the legal right of men to beat their wives. Maryland in 1882 was the first state to pass a law that wife beating was actually a crime. Yeah, it was way better back then, a utopia for women. And in situations where the woman was earning more, the reason wasn't because she's like, oh, the guy's providing the money more, I have my own money, I'm gonna leave. No, the reason why she left is because she was making more money and she would come home and have the second job where the husband wasn't doing the chores. This is such a common example of the men I see I work with in the Marriage Mastery Program. So many people assume that because the woman is leaving, it's her fault. That she didn't work for years and fight for decades even sometimes to make the marriage work and that she's the one that's finally giving up, that it's somehow her fault. You ready for a sobering statistic? Almost 200 years ago, in 1826, women were still initiating divorce 60% of the time. So in the past 200 years, it's raised 10% only. But let's delve into the real reasons why this is. It's because women are a pain in the ass, right? They're never happy? Well, actually kind of, yeah. Women initiate about 75% of divorces. There are multiple reasons for that. But one reason is, is that women are higher in trait neuroticism. They're more sensitive to negative emotion. So they feel more units of negative emotion subjectively per unit of stress. That's a way of thinking about it. And so they get unhappy faster. But this just goes to show that women aren't the ones that changed. Society and men have. Let's face it, men are not what they used to be. Life's too short to exercise, I'm just gonna be honest. There are so many better things to do than exercise. We are more feminized than ever before. Men are not meant to be dominant. Men are meant to be submissive. We are lazier, weaker, fatter, less motivated, escaping into drugs, alcohol, porn, and video games, more than we ever have across society. Testosterone levels have dropped and we are less valuable than we've ever been. And this is why over 10% of the men are sleeping with 90% of the women. And science will back this up in marriage. 35% of women said they left their husbands because they lost attraction for him. Now look, I get it. Women have some blame in this as well. With the advent of social media, the comparison game is all too present. They're comparing themselves against other women and other power couples on social media that's highlights of their life and things like the real housewives. No! But I think asking the question if women's standards are too high is not really helpful because let's face it, they're not gonna change their standards. They are demanding more. Because 200 years ago when their initiation of divorce was only 10% less at 60%, they were being physically beaten. They couldn't leave the home because they couldn't take care of themselves financially. So yeah, now women are making their own money so they have higher standards. It's just the way the world works. So you can sit there and say that women are expecting too much or you can step up as a man. I see that you have three options. You can choose to be alone or you can become 
the best version of yourself. Now option three is to settle with a woman who's mediocre, but that's the worst one of them all. She is hyper intuitive. She knows when you are distracted, when you haven't taken her on a date, when you don't talk with her with the same intensity and consciousness as you used to. She needs that. When you don't offer her that gift, she feels unloved. When a woman feels unloved and unled, she gets masculine, cold, and indifferent. You are locked out of heaven and it hurts like hell. Women are also detail oriented. So when you mix those two things together, you get a woman who is noticing subtle changes in energy in the relationship. The most common thing I see that men take ownership in my program, at least the guys I accept that I want to work with, take full ownership that they have become complacent, whether it's physically with their body, whether it's just the way you used to treat her in the beginning of the relationship when you were actually in love with her, you would give her your full attention. You wouldn't be distracted. You would pick up after yourself. You would say things, then do it. These little things compound over time on this scale, this tipping scale I talk about until she just feels so disconnected from you. She asks herself, why am I with this man? Look, I get it as a guy. You just want peace. You've got the woman you're like thinking she's mine. She's committed to me. We made our vows under God. I just want to be happy. I'm going to give you some really harsh truth right now. Women just don't want to be happy. They want to experience a range of emotions, every emotion. That's why she creates this drama. And you are that shore and she's that ocean. And as a man, when you become complacent, that shore becomes weak and the water is breaking you down and you become reactive. When you compound that over years, there's no shore left. She's not with the man she used to be. This last one might hurt a little bit. Marriages do not really prioritize sex. Like, Hmm. I don't think people understand how incredibly important that is. And a lot of women is like, you know, get bitter and want to withhold. And I'm not, you know, no, no. And I think that is incredibly toxic, not only for the marriage, not just for him, but for the woman herself. Because I think that's why a lot of marriages, I am almost shocked at these women say they won't have sex for months with their husband. I'm like, Holy cow. Well, it's no wonder your marriages are in You see, shambles. Coach saying that's unacceptable. <laughs> it is the reason why she criticizes you, is no longer physically affectionate, and why she gives you one word answers and you guys just feel like roommates nowadays. A woman's core need in a relationship is to feel safe. That safety is created by being provided for and protected for. Moments where you don't protect her are when she's coming to you with all those emotions, those dark moods that we just said in that quote, and you react or you turn inward, you move away, you get distracted, or you don't lead her, you let her fall into her masculine. She is not that way where she has to take charge. She doesn't like to do that. No woman wants to do that. She's learned that she's had to because you won't step up. I'm telling you, if you just lead 10% more in your relationship, you'll see how much she softens, how grateful she is for you. Look, I can only speak from experience and all the academia and couples I've worked with over the years as licensed therapists for 10 plus years. And here's what I've seen. I've seen that men and women are both at fault for sure. But my ethos here, my, my philosophy here in Pinnacle Man is that men are the ones that need to lead society, to lead by example, to take responsibility, to take help with the ship. And right now we're not in a lot of ways. We're not leading with our emotions. We're not being masculine. We're not being dominant. We're not leaning into life, into problems. We're escaping out of them because technology has allowed us to do so. And one thing that we have had in the past that we've lost are rituals, schools, cultures, practices. I mean, the military has it, the, you know, some organizations and Greek life and other stuff like that. But overall, men have lost their way. We don't know any good role models of what to follow to be properly masculine and healthy, to lead our families towards a, a better future, to become better, to lead our children. I think that's what we've lost. And I think the divorce rates, suicide, depression, all these are symptoms of a deeper underlying cause that men are lost. And so women divorcing men at a higher level is more of a warning sign and a symptom of men failing to be the men that we need to be in our society. And this is what I want to help you do. And now there's lots of things you can do. There's lots of videos on this channel. This video right here, I find that a lot of guys that I work with have these qualities of the nice guy. You can start by watching this video to really overcome these deeper underlying issues. Smash like if you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.